Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Thank you for being oh, here. Thank you for coming. Yes. Hello and good morning. And so beautiful. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Yay. I love it. He's there. <laughs> My girl dog's getting so big and beautiful. Oh, oh so that's scary. exciting. It's so exciting. Yeah. You guys have to see all those puppies once they're here. They'll be in the practice room with us. We so, yeah. so, so sweet. Uh, and, yeah. <clears throat> I'm excited. It's actually perfect timing. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. So being puppy playful heaven. Okay, so this is the card I chose for us this morning from my moon deck. And it is the warrior S with her bow and arrow, which is the, you know, sometimes that bow and arrow is connected to our body and the shapes that we make, a lot of the yoga poses. And it is this idea of focus, you know, to shoot off the bow and arrow, you have to have a clear focus of where you're going. And she's aiming this upwards, skywards, and the full moon there with support. And it says, I focus on what is working. I focus on what is working. Wow. So I feel a lot of potency in this card. I focus on what is working as we are coming back to basics in a lot of ways and, you know, dressing more comfortably. And, I, you know, I see, like, I know some of you have been with me for a long time and I totally very clearly remember a couple of years ago on a Sunday morning, Anne was there. And I said, I'm going to start dressing differently. And I'm dressing the goddess. And I don't know if you remember that, but dressing myself very comfortably and all of that. And, and that's pretty much what we're doing, right, guys? Like, you're not getting dressed up to go to work, most of you. And so that's one thing that, that changes, too, when we get into the practice. I feel like definitely your footwear choices become different. And, you know, even having your yoga clothes. And as you put those on, you know, that also, you know, is the beginning of your practice. I feel like it starts like an hour before you get here. Just even knowing, I didn't send out an email this morning, so bravo for making it and being here and prioritizing this for yourself. You know, this is this, I focus on what is working. So I know the efforts you make, you put on your clothes, you set up your space, you're creating space for yourself to simply be, capital B, capital E, the state of being, you know, and that is potent practice. You know, I say, even if you get here, you just lie on your mat the whole time. There's effort. You come, I say, come to the studio, you know, if you, you're not feeling well, still come to class. And if you just lie on your back, that whole intention of, okay, I got to get in my car, which we used to do, and drive to the studio. And, you know, there's intention there, and what you're going to wear and what you bring with you and all of that. And that is like the beginning and potent. So I like this candle. And if you have one, light it this bringing into sacred space and you know if you grew up in a home that was observant of religion whatever it was you know then perhaps there was candles like i know growing up jewish every friday night you know we light candles and invite in the sabbath so and do the same motion <laughs> that i've offered to you guys this whole time of just taking in the light and the heat and the energy and transforming your space, your head space, into welcoming in this time of transforming, of transformation. That's what practice is. So however you're feeling when you come to the mat, sometimes, you know, you come to the mat and you're like, oh, can we just, right? And, and that's beautiful. I say like there's equal potency in taking those and doing those practices where we don't move that much because that's a different type of dropping in and releasing and taking those practices where we do move. So we're gonna move this morning. Taking those practices where we do move are also transforming in a different way. And if I hearken back, if you can think back to like, you know, even if you still go to the gym, great. But I, like for me, obviously I haven't been to a gym for a very long time, but there was that time, right? I used to get up at 6.30 in the morning, and go to the gym and like get home before my kids were up. And you know, I'm rocking it, but I was freaking exhausted 
did <laughs> because I was pushing myself so much and it's such a different thing. So I give you that as a preface, you know, we're going to move, but really to feel your practice and to let it be that same restfulness, even as you're moving is this bringing in of this balance that we've been talking about, you know, this time of like right now we're in light and dark. We're all doing well in our homes. We have food, we have shelter, we have what we need. How you're feeling is a very different thing. So this time of balance and we bring it all in, we're gonna meet it in our practice today. So with great love and gratitude for your presence. And um, you know, if you have blocks, you could bring them in. And if you don't, and we are gonna do some balancing, then I encourage you if you're shaky, use the wall. And if you need your couch nearby, you could even rest your hand on the couch somewhere if you need that. So honor the space that you can create. So we're gonna start with this little dance we did yesterday. Those of you who were in class yesterday. I'm just sitting up nice and tall. Take your arms out to the sides, like this Libra scales, my heart's excited. So that's nice. And just being here, you know, feeling into whatever this is, maybe one arm, one shoulder, not as happy, shift your ribs, lift your heart, soften your hands, and just really become awake and aware of the energy and the potency underneath your palms, of the holding in your palms, soften your brow, imagine yourself as like, you know, statue of God or goddess in this position and embody that, what would you look like? Your heart would be lifted and maybe you're smiling and just opening to whatever's being offered. And we're going to take one more inhale. And as you exhale, start to bring your hands towards each other, but let them cross over, palms still facing out. So you cross at the forearms. And this like almost a protection spell or Isis, you know, sometimes it's often seen in this, this shape of, you know, protection. And, and then you're going to turn your palms to face each other and make it, you know, like you're a vessel, you might bring them down and breathe and then start to bring your palms, your fingers towards each other, a little wrist stretch. And then inhale. Now, as you exhale, turn your fingers down towards the floor and start to stretch your arms out in front of you. And then inhale and lift this package right up. And you press the hands against each other. You lift yourself from the base all the way up, sending this energy from the crown or from the base of you straight up your spine. We'll inhale and this <clears throat> potency of the direction of north and south. And as you exhale, release, circle your palms like a little dance, just are your wrists, come back to the Libra scales. And then you'll inhale. And as you exhale, cross the hands the opposite way. Maybe you bow your chin in reverence here. Turn your palms towards each other. Inhale, bring the hands towards each other. Lift your heart and your head. Exhale, fingers draw down through the heart and out, and then we inhale to lift up. And then take a few breaths here. Feel the potency of pressing down into the floor and reaching up, and then lifting from the floor and bringing this energy from the sky down. So just you can move in two directions. Just feel all of that, take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, release, circle your wrists in this little wrist dance, bring the hands back to your Libra scales. And then inhale, lift yourself. And as you exhale, you'll move the hands to cross, bow your chin, pause. And then turn your hands, inhale, lift your chin, your heart, bring the hands together. And as you exhale, trace down the line of the heart and out in front of you. Maybe you lean back, tuck your chin, and then inhale, reach up, rise up. And then just continue. Exhale, circle the wrists, come to the Libra scales, and you inhale here, you lift your heart. And exhale, cross the wrists, bow your chin, palms face out, pause. Turn the palms and then inhale, lift your heart, lift your chin, bring the hands together. 
Exhale, hands trace along the heart, extend out, maybe you lean back, tuck your chin. And inhale, reach up. And exhale, circle. Okay, find your own rhythm now, whatever your breath is. If it doesn't match mine, that's fine. Just moving. <coughs> Great reverence here as you offer yourself almost this series of protection, of love, of opening, of receiving, of releasing, of being, capital B, capital E. And just do this a few more times as you are. <coughs> Feeling with reverence that you are present. Beautiful. You find your own space. Let's just do a few more. It's honoring this little dance. And feel your breath waking up and potency within you to create even this little series of movements, like the sacred dance of life. You know, often we see Lord Shiva and he is shown dancing in a ring of fire. And it's the dancing Shiva, Natarajasana, dancer pose named for this. Let this be your last one. And as he dances through the fire to avoid, you know, being burned. And we're just going to end with the palms together in Anjali Mudra in your heart space. Bow your chin. It is the dance of life. You know, constantly shifting, constantly moving. I focus on what is working in my life. I focus on what is working. What brings me joy? Being in my breath, my body, on my yoga mat, and so many of you here, maybe we should, not maybe, I take out maybe, we definitely, we share this. This is working. This feels good. What's not working? These are questions we can ask ourselves during this time. I'm feeling into your heart, your presence here, your being here, capital B, capital E, right here. Feel your breath, feel your heartbeat, feel the energy in your arms from that moving. As you inhale, lengthen yourself nice and tall. And as you exhale, be here with that exhale. And we'll open practice together and we'll chant love. And so for the first one, I keep the palms pressed together. Second one, I bring it into the heart. And the third one, I'll offer it out with the palms facing out. However you wish to do this, you take it in, my friends. It is for you. Fill your space with love. So the people in your house, wake them up with your love. The <laughs> heart and I are going to do. <laughs> and we'll inhale fully. Love. Inhale. your palms however you have your hands placed and we'll inhale as you exhale reach out in front of you like you are just receiving this like a big hug and bring it in put it into your heart your heart and your belly wherever it wants to go hands can touch your body or they can stay apart a little bit as you know there is potent energy here bow your chin and for this moment 
in our solitude and in our home space, call in your loved ones. Even if they're in the next room, just invite them in. And if they are no longer walking on this earth in their embodiment form, call them in, bring them in. This is a time of remembrance, of connecting to those we love, those who love us, those who have shaped us and molded us into who we are today. And as I say that now, you know, perhaps there's someone who you're not loving so much right now or in the past or friends who you miss and haven't spoken to. And this is a potent time to acknowledge how these people have also had an impact and shaped your life. And to bring them in, invite them in with an open heart, with your loving, compassionate kindness, power of forgiveness power to forgive and to be deeply mindful that just like you we are all on our path and we are all doing what we truly feel is our best hopefully as I say that and you know there is also evil doings and this is the duality of where we are right now, especially here in our country, the duality of where we are. And amidst all of that, we choose love. And loving practice. And then just bringing your hands together or not together. Just feeling into all of this as it is. And now I feel we're just gonna turn and just sh send this energy out, whatever you don't need, whatever's not working, send it out. Even if you don't even know what that is yet, that's okay, you know, that's part of doing shadow work and being with yourself is to know that you are on the path of discovering what's no longer working. Come back to the Libra scales and just feel into this changed energy, changed head space, changed heart space. Beautiful. And then from here, I'll bring the palms together, bow chin. <clears throat> and when we come on to hands and knees to enter into downward facing dog. And if downward dog is not a happy place for you, you go to hands and knees, take child's pose. You can also go onto your back and hug your knees in. Or you can even go on your back and lift your arms and legs in the air. It's a different thing, but. Okay, and in this child's pose, I mean, sorry, downward dog, most of us taking downward dog. Anchor your hands, spread your fingers, open hands, open heart, open breath. Feel into what this is, what's creaking and talking. And then let's open it. Take the legs wider, maybe the hands a little wider. And you can bend your knees and straighten a few times or do one at a time. Whichever feels good, let your head go and anchor yourself in the strength of your arms, straight and strong. So from the shoulders, anchoring into your wrists and then gently moving the shoulders away from your ears. Let your jaw go. Okay, and then moving into maybe stillness. If you still need to move, you might rock side to side. It's all fine. Good. Anchor in. Open your mouth super wide. So wide. And keep it that wide as you soften your eyes and you breathe. Maybe in and out through your mouth. You don't have to. Open it so wide. And then just notice if one side maybe is a little lazy. Open your mouth wider. Good. And then inhale. You can close your mouth, bring your knees to the floor, shift your hips back, tops of the feet to the earth, child's pose, drop your head. So I'm going to start to just, my arms are straight out, and I'm going to walk the floor, see if I can get longer through my arms. And then I anchor the pads of the fingers down like little tiger claws. And then I sink the hips back. But because I'm so long, 
I'm getting this stretch through my low back area as I start to descend. Let's just lift it a little bit. Okay, you're in your own shape though. Notice what you no notice. And take one more breath. And then we're gonna release the arms behind you. So maybe the backs of the hands are on the floor, your forehead's on the floor. You can put a prop there if you need something. Okay, if you can grab the feet, then do that. Grab your feet and maybe you pull them or you rub them or just have the backs of the hands on the floor and be here. Feel your breath, your forehead resting. And the opening and awakening of the transformational energies we are inviting in through practice. This opportunity to really feel ourselves here. Good. And then bringing your hands in some place you can lift yourself up to seated. And then just sit on your heels for a moment if that's comfortable for you with the feet flat. And if it's not, you know, keep your hands on the floor or lift yourself up, do what you need to do to start to move into this one day. It's all fine. Heart just came out, all yeah. fine. Breathe here. Okay, take one more breath. And then we're going to release hands to the floor, come to hands and knees, just move your feet, lift your feet up off the floor, move them around, you can snap up the cross of your feet. and then we're going to tuck your little toes under, yeah. Now with the toes tucked under, actually just walk them forward, like kind of get deeper into it, and you'll, you'll decide. And then take your hips back, keep the hands on the floor, spread your fingers, anchor all the pads of your fingers, and push the floor down and away. Good. Okay, notice if you dropped your head, and then I just want you to lift your head, lift your heart. Yeah, as best as you can. And breathe. Good. And whatever you're feeling in your toes, that's yours. I'm pushing the hands away a little bit, so I'm just getting more into my toes. Good, walk your hands all the way back and lift up for forward fold. So here you might use blocks and separate your feet to a nice comfortable distance and bend your knees if you need to. Drop your head to the floor unless that's no good for you. If you have some, you know, blood pressure stuff or doesn't feel good, then you just find your couch or your chair or your blocks so you can lift yourself higher. Otherwise, see if you can let the head go. Good. Okay, we're going to come back to this opening your mouth super wide. And so just prepare for that. And then as you're ready, start to open your mouth so wide, but stay here, you know, you don't have to breathe in and out through the mouth. You might find you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, that's fine. Open it so wide, notice what you feel when you do that. Be with that, so just let it be so wide. Notice if one side of your mouth is a little lazy and open that, like go wider. And then just maybe stick your tongue out with that. Notice if you've crunched your eyes, soften. And, and then let your mouth come back, walk your hands forward, downward facing dog. Okay, bring the big toes to touch. We're gonna lift the right leg up high to the sky. And you're gonna anchor your hands, push down and away. Look at your left thigh, push it away. Get pushed through that right foot somewhere. Get so long and strong. Okay, and then as you exhale, we're gonna take this right foot and you're just gonna step it maybe, you know, to the outside of the right hand or anywhere it goes. Just step it outside of yourself. Make it nice and open. Good. Okay, now take your left foot and just hop it back. And then just come on down. You're gonna stay on the left hand. You might turn the left hand out and reach the right arm up. And then lift your left leg, lift your hips up and open. Feel the anchor of the left hand, right arm reaching up, open palm, open heart, open breath. Maybe wiggle the left foot back a little more, push out through the heel, lift the hips and exhale, release. Both hands to the floor, step back. Adjust your doggy for a moment. Feel your heart beating here. If you need to drop the child's pose, do that. 
Okay, big toes touch. I'm gonna lift the left leg up in the air. And just press, anchor, connect, be here, be here. Look at your right thigh. Push out through the right thigh, through the left foot somewhere, through the heels of your hands. And breathe into this. Good. And then step the left foot to the outside. You might even be off your mat. Wherever it goes here. And then you can wiggle the right leg back. Maybe the right hand turns out a little bit. Anchor it. Reach the left arm up. And then lift the right thigh. Lift your hips. You'll feel yourself get more into the left foot. Be strong. Strong and long. Breathe everywhere. Open. Good. Release. Step back. And we're going to take up two breaths in downward dog. Just how they are. And then knees to the floor. We can come back to child's pose. This time my knees are going to be together. So that makes it a little smaller, whatever works for you. You know that if you bring the knees together, the head might not come down to the floor. You might prop it. <clears throat> and just being with your breath into this full, you know, offering right into, into your back. So smile. We evoke playfulness. Good. I'm going to take one more breath in and out. Good. Okay, so stay here. I'm going to talk you through the next pose, and I want you to see it in your mind. So what we're going to do from here is you're going to come up with the left hand on the floor and the right arm lifted. Don't do it yet. Just picture it. And you're going to step the right foot forward. So we're going to be on the left knee. Right foot comes forward, and you're just going to open yourself like into the pose. So the left hand will be down, right arm in the air. Right foot's going to step forward. So if you need padding under your left knee, do it. And then just like fly into that. So you have your right foot forward on the floor, and it could be turning out. Just open. And then as you exhale, come back into this child's pose. So there's a bit of like nice, slow, maybe balance. And you're just moving. And then you'll inhale, right hand to the floor, left hand lifts, left foot to the floor, and just open. And then exhale, so there's some balancing. This looks like, oh, how fluid. And then inhale, let's do one more time each side. Just opening. So you can step that foot nicely out to the side. And just feel this little dance of opening. Good. And then we'll come back down. Okay, this time I'm going to sit on my heels as we did at the beginning. But if you want child's pose, do that. Just take a moment and feel what is real. Good. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing from here. So I'm just going to come up onto my knees, put the left hand down, put the right foot forward, even if I'm wobbling. Open. Maybe that right foot can come out more. You can open yourself more here and then come back. And there's this like, and you find this little dance. And then just going right to the second side, like dancing into and out of these poses. And let's do one more time each side. This time I'm going to tuck my toes under and sit and then flow through. Just, you know, whatever it is, if you're falling. Then be playful and smile and be here. That's your last one. We're going to come. I'm going to sit on my toes, but, you know, be wherever you need to be. And just feel. From here, we're going to come back to forward fold. i just tell you that. So don't get too comfortable. And we'll take the hands down. And you'll lift your seat up into the air. Heel toe your feet a little wider if you need to. And this time, let's just rock the hips side to side. So with the knees bent or not, that's fine. You might even be turning your head to look past each foot as you, as you go. Good. OK. And then just coming to your center. Inhale, lengthen your head, heart forward. 
and exhale and fold. And, okay, be here, however you need to be here. And you're gonna open your mouth super wide. Keep it open as wide as you can. Notice if you're crinkling your eyes, soften, breathe, like this is so normal. Then stick <coughs> your tongue out and see if you can make some circles with your tongue with the mouth so wide. Uh -huh. And then circle the opposite way. And then stick your tongue out, open the mouth as wide as you can with the tongue out. Drop into that, breathe. Good, and then release your mouth, bend your knees, take your hands to your thighs and roll yourself upright. And come all the way up to standing. Good. Okay, I'm just coming to face you, just be as you are. You might bring your hands to your heart and You know, there was a reason I brought up dancer pose, so. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna turn to the side and you're welcome to hold the wall. This is a balancing pose. So you're just gonna, the minute I say balancing for myself, I always rock front to back on my feet, find the balance, and then find that energy up and down. Yes, now take your hands to your hips, shift your weight onto your right foot, Take your left hand out like you are in this Libra scale, but it's a little bit lower. Then lift your belly, bend into your left foot. So you bend it, then you take your hand and you grab the foot. And maybe you grab on the big toe edge. Okay, now find your balance, push the foot into the hand, push that left knee towards the floor and lift up through the right side. And now take the right arm up into the air. So you haven't tilted, your knees are together. You're anchored down as if you have one leg. That left foot is pushing into the hand, hand supporting it. Then without changing the stance, you can start to take the leg back. Now you might be tilting forward, but the pose is really to be here until you can lift that thigh up as high as your hip. Then there's some tilting. Be there. Okay, I just fell out, but if you're in it, stay. And if you need to come out, now release. Okay, now just stand, feel the power in that and the radical difference now between the two sides and the breath. So we do this pose often on our tummies. It's very potent that way too, but a little different. Okay, I'm gonna turn. You don't have to unless you're using the wall. Okay, anchor. So take your hands to your hips. And feel like, oh, I'm anchoring down into the earth and I'm lifting up, heart lifted. Shift the weight onto the left foot. Take the right hand out, palm face up. Then you bend the right leg, catch the foot, squeeze the knees. Now you push the foot into the hand and you push that knee down and then you lift up through the left side, through your belly. B here, capital B, capital E. And then you start to push the foot out, if that's there. We can lift the left arm. And you just be here, full connection, foot, hand, hand in the air, leg on the floor. If you can lift your thigh as high as your hip, then we start to tilt. Then breathe. Focus your gaze. And then release. Whoa. And just feel. Wow. Okay, let's do it one more time each side because, you know, first time is like what? Second time is like, oh, yeah. Okay, so just be, feel. Okay, if you are just happy to just not do this, then you can sneak in a tree pose. Okay, but otherwise, right hand to right hip, left hand out, lengthen, shift to the right side, bend the left leg, catch the foot. Then you squeeze the knees. Push the left foot, left knee to the floor, foot in, lift the right arm, and start to open. Wherever you are, in whatever capacity, just be connected with your breath, with your mind, with your body, with your spirit, flying, dancing, and then release if you haven't yet. Breathe. 
Feel the vibrancy, energy. Maybe you're smiling. Okay? It's a heart opening pose too. It's a back bend. It's stability, second side. So left hand to your hip, right hand out. Lengthen, find it. Bend that right leg, catch the foot, squeeze the knees. Press the knee to the floor, press the foot into the hand. So you're connected in that shoulder. And then the left arm can lift. I'm even spreading the toes of my right foot. So we learn to be everywhere in this body. And then just opening to whatever degree you're dancing and smile. Feel your potency, your power. Ah, and then release. Ah, I focus on what's working. Feel that. Yes. Okay, we're gonna release with pigeon in a tree. Art's leaving us. Okay, goodbye, Art. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I scared you. Okay. From here, we're gonna come to pigeon in a tree. And so you might put blocks in front of you, and you might also just put your hands at the wall, and you can do this too. So I'm gonna, I, I don't have blocks. So I'm gonna bring my hands at my heart. But if you do, it's just to bring the floor closer. Find the length and the strength, and then you can separate your legs, whatever's comfortable. Bend your knees. Stick your butt back. That lifts your heart. Shift your weight onto your right foot. Take the left ankle up and over. And then you flex that foot. The more you stick the butt out, I'm gonna bring you down, and then maybe your hands are gonna come to your thighs. And you smile and breathe. I'm shaking, even though you can't see it. And then I'll take the hands down. And maybe they're gonna go to the blocks. Maybe they go to the floor. I take this left foot, I'm gonna wrap it around my upper arm. And then the more I bend my, my uh, right knee, then the more stretch I get. I'm gonna show you the next part, but you can just stop here. The next part is to come and sit on your toes and to find your balance. Let's see, well, maybe not today. And then coming back up does require some strength. Okay, then we're gonna come out of this. So you're gonna try and come back up. That's there. With grace and elegance, if it works. If it doesn't, we just smile. And then step down, breathe. Okay, remember those days at the gym. You'd be like doing all this stuff and all that to get this, right? I'm breathing hard, my heart is beating. Okay, second side. So I take the hands together at the heart. Find your feet, and then find your length and your strength. Yep, go ahead, you're ahead of me, it's okay. Sit down, shift the weight onto the left leg, bend the right knee in, and then you flex the toes. You sit down, maybe your hands come to your thighs. Stick the butt out, and then you can take your hands down to your blocks or to the floor. And the more you bend into that left knee and stick your butt out, the more you get, oh, so amazing. Good, I love watching you guys, amazing. Maybe you wanna come down to the toe set. <sighs> yeah, that's okay, you don't have to. And then coming back up, Ooh, that's strength. Okay, for me. And then you can bring yourself up and out with grace and elegance and come back. Okay, I feel, I'm gonna take this to a forward fold. So as you inhale, reach up. And exhale, open and come down. And you can open your legs wider apart if you wish. Rock side to side, even bending one knee, the other. Good. Okay, and then dropping in for a moment. Good. Okay, however you are, <coughs> I'm gonna have you Step your feet a little wider apart, even if they're on the floor. And so let's go, we're not gonna go super wide, let's say maybe like three and a half, four feet. I hope I have my measurements right. And then I'm gonna take the right hand over to the left ankle, I'm gonna hold that, and then I'm gonna sweep this left arm up to the sky. And then I lean a little bit more towards my right leg, and open twist happening, and then releasing, taking that left hand over to the right ankle, lift your right arm up, 
And then lean your torso, your heart to the left. Open and twist. And release your hands to the floor. Come back. Good. Okay, I don't know which way you're facing, but I'm, my hands are at the front of my mat, and I'm gonna bend my knees and jump my feet back to downward dog. That works. Be playful. Good. Okay. So we're gonna come into pigeon on the earth here, and so modify as you need to. That could be on your back. I'm gonna bring the big toes to touch. Lift this right leg high to the sky. And then I'll bring it in. So the knee comes just to the outside and behind the right wrist. And the top of the foot is on the floor with the heel at the left groin. And then you walk your left leg back. Okay, there's potency and power in being in this upright part of the pose. So if this works for you, if it's okay for your back to come up. And I've shown this before, like the strength here is in pulling this right knee and the left heel towards each other. So I almost can lift up here and take this, but you know, this is your first practice with me, don't do this. So breathe here. So I'm really bringing my kidneys back and then exhale, wherever you are, walk your hands forward. So that's a big stretch for the kidneys, for the back. If that's your first time doing that and you feel it tomorrow, then you know, smile and say, oh, okay. So that's that, because we know we can injure ourselves so many different ways that an injury on the yoga mat, not an injury, a stretching is a place of, of exploration. And you're melting your heart, and if you have your forehead on the floor, great. If not, that's fine. You might have your forearms on the floor and just dropping your head. And I'm just gonna bring in some face yoga as we've been doing. So from here as you are, just taking your tongue and painting uh, vertical lines on the inside of one cheek. Like as if you really have to paint hard, you gotta push that paintbrush in and get all the grooves. So paint lines on one cheek and go and paint lines on the other cheek. And then do that again on both sides. And then release all of that. I'm just going to take one more breath here. Okay, and we're going to switch sides. And I'm going to do that through downward dog, but you can just come up to your hands and your knees as well. If you need a child's pose, that's fine. Otherwise, and take it up and back. And I might even pedal the feet here, move the hips around. You can do that on your hands and knees or in your child's pose. Good. And then big toes touch and we'll lift that left leg up in the air. And then you'll bring that knee down to the outside of your left wrist. And you kind of walk your foot over so that the heel is at your right hip or groin. And then walk your right leg back. So if the heel comes up to your little belly, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to be in the upright. You be wherever you need to be, my friends. This is a lot. You can even, I see myself, this huge back arch here. And I'm going to squeeze that left knee and the right foot towards each other. So my hips lift. Then I anchor into that, this lift. And I lift all the way up. And then I'm taking my bottom ribs back. So I'm not overly arching. And I'm lifting and smiling in my power and presence because every part of me is awake and vibrant. And then we'll release hands to the earth and walk yourself out into the surrender. So we have those two dichotomies of power, presence, and the presence in the release. You might have your forehead on the floor or just dropping your head. And so like I offer it up, here I am. Hineni, here I am. You know, if you're feeling a big stretch in your outer hip, you know, this is a potent pose for you. 
then there's nowhere else to be but here in your body. And in your truth, I could even say in your truth, you know, the body is a reflection of everything that we've put on it. All the things we've carried, all of the gates we've walked through in our lives, you know, that are part of living, part of life. And it's all here, so be here. Acknowledge those places, breathe into them. And then we're going to come out of this, and I am going to come back to Downward Dog, but you be wherever you need to be, and just breathe. We'll take five breaths, however you need that to be, and I'm just going to hold this dog and drop my head, and breathe. So this could be your upside down, you know. Let your head go, your head is below your heart, your hips are lifted. Good. Okay, we're gonna come into seated and I'm gonna do that playfully with the jump. So if that's interesting, you can take a peek and I lift my heels, bend my knees, I look forward where I wanna go, I'm in this pounce position as I jump across my ankles in midair and sit down. So it looks way more impressive than it is. And then bring yourself, yes, mm, I love that. Good, just bring yourself into this, sit for a moment and we'll just let the hands rest. So just before we take it down, between up here and down here, there's the middle point. So let's be in this midpoint. Good. And just feeling into how the energy around you has changed, has transformed, I love this. You know, this is transformative practice. And if you've been in this for many, many years, there's a reason. Some of you have been in this relationship with your yoga longer than you've been in relationships with people. So, you know, think about that. Why is that? Okay, bring your hands out to the side. We're just gonna do this little dance a few times. And as I inhale and lengthen, and exhale, I bow in, cross the arms, take this protection, I pause here, bring the palms together, and as you inhale, you lift your heart, lift your head. And exhale, bring the hands forward in front of you. Maybe you tuck back, tuck your chin, and inhale, lift up, rise up. And as you exhale, you dance, like you move your wrists like the fire around you in this image of Shiva, Natarajasana, to come back to the Libra scales. And then just continuing on in your own flow, your own breath, even if, you know, it doesn't feel, oh, am I doing it right? There's no right, there's just do. You know, whatever it is, just feel. And just do this like maybe two more times. So. One more time on each side. You know, the potency of our hands, and we've been doing mudras in every practice, is that they are like little antennas into the parts of us that we didn't even know we could access, maybe. You know, they don't teach this stuff in school of how to tap into your own presence and energy and just be where you are here in the Libra scales as you end up here. Good. And then this time we're going to come onto our backs. As you exhale, now bring the hands and as if you're giving yourself a hug, you might even keep them away from your body a little bit. One in front of your heart, one down by your belly area. And just feel the heat from your hands as they receive and feel the heat from your body. You are energy, you are light, you are love. Good. And then we're gonna cross these over. Just give yourself a nice big hug. Well, I really feel that, it's so potent. Give yourself a nice big hug and then just a little bit of rocking. Could use your hands to you even rub yourself here. If you're alone right now, then remind yourself you're not alone. <laughs> oh, look, I've got me. And then just open your arms really big, inhale. Like you're just receiving all of this. Just take it in, cross your arms the other way, hug yourself the opposite way. Tell yourself, I've got you, I've got this. 
Good. And then we're just gonna lift these arms up and over your head, open up, and release the hands down to the floor. And then take a breath here, stretch your legs out, move your toes. If you need some socks or anything, we're gonna go right down. I'm gonna give you some time. So I'm gonna end a few minutes early. Hart's doing an interview today. So I told him I would end right before 11 so he could not worry about making noise. He's very loud. <laughs> and so just put on your socks as you come onto your back. If there's anything you need, hug the knees in, rock a little bit, a happy baby. We did a lot of pigeons, a lot of hip opening. So a little happy baby. If you wanna do it sitting with me, you can too. And take that and then, so I'm just gonna give you like two minutes to play. And maybe as you can play along with me if you wish. And, you know, the toes are working, you know, I'm pushing out everything. If you just want to get down on your back, yes, beautiful, yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, so nice. Good. Whatever feels right. Good. Yeah, so just hug them in and then come onto your back. And if you want to rock and roll a few times, you might like that to just feel, and a twist might be nice. And then just keep playing. I'm just gonna take one more minute of whatever you need. This is self-exploration time. So not thinking of Shavasana, just being in your own little space and place. Just taking a few more breaths. Amazing, yes. This is the potency of practice. It could be simple windshield wipering. You know, that's a very potent pose. And then as you're ready, you'll set up for your Shavasana. So you might have to roll to the side and come up. If you want to do legs up the wall, you know, if you're by your wall still, then I can let you know we're halfway. Putting something underneath your head, wrapping yourself up, an eye pillow, turning your music on. And then I focus on what is working in my life. I focus on what is working in my life. And that doesn't need to be you know, your job. You know, it's as simple as forgiveness, compassionate kindness. You know, if you suffer from like road rage, for example, like something that maybe you've been doing for so long, like I don't know, Hart used to always like had certain words that only came out when he was driving. And you know, sometimes you don't even notice you're doing that. I'm just picking on him because he's not here, but it's like, you know, we all have stuff. So, and that doesn't need to be anything specific. Sometimes just inviting in this idea of clarifying for yourself, the path you're on, just even that intention is the invoking and inviting in for clarity in some way. To trust yourself to walk your own path, not the path that perhaps was set for you. And so I know many of you here are doing that, living that, that's very empowering. And so as you come into your rest, just beginning by feeling the potency within you. Even the parts of you that are talking from your practice. softening around them. So now we go from active to passive, but it's not passive as in do nothing. Shavasana is one of the hardest poses in yoga. It is the softening and allowing It is the releasing and the inviting. It is the opening of your heart, the opening and invitation to release 
And anything we're carrying. And that right now doesn't need to be present. I release, and you might be able to name it. I release my tension. I release my expectations. I release my grief for this moment. I invite in spaciousness, playfulness, and love, above all love. And let these things fill you up and nourish you. Love yourself as you would a child with your innocence at every age and every stage. Imagine yourself being held here. Like a babe in the arms releasing into the arms of the mother, Mother Earth, the mother of you, whether you're masculine, feminine, we all carry these codes of both genders, the ability to mother ourselves and strengthen ourselves. It's power and unification and in the awakening and acknowledging of who we truly are beyond the hats we wear, beyond how others see us. And to loving all parts of ourselves with equality, like the Libra scales, you know, the goodness, the kindness, and the parts that are not so loving and not so kind, that we might not even be aware of. Here in your rest, you invite all of that in. With loving, compassion, open, kindness. Into being present, into being, simply being. If you're in any other position, you'd like to shift into Shavasana, then you will do that now. Melting yourself deeply, consciously releasing. Make a sigh as your next exhale. Feel that great release. And then the invitation to awaken yourself just by moving the breath. You know, if you want to stay in your rest, my friends, then stay there. You don't need to come up. Before you start to move, start by just opening your mouth so wide and just being with that wideness for maybe a few breaths. Just working on opening the mouth so wide, this place of entryway, how we feed and nourish ourselves with our breath, with water, with food. Open it so wide. And then soften all around that. Stay there. One more breath, two more breaths, opening the mouth wider. And then you can release that if you wish. Or play with the tongue if you wish. Tongue is a muscle directly connected to our throats. And then continue on your movement there. Let it be intuitive and honoring. 
and then really honor this time and space so that as you come up to sitting, it's this, I've arrived. And take your time to make your seat comfortable. And we're just going to take simple chin mudra. So with the palms facing up, this is where we just lightly touch the tip of the thumb and tip of the index finger together. And I'm just going to place that as it is. So it's just a light touch of the two, tip in of index finger, tip of thumb. Now I've said it many times in these practices that with the palms facing up, it's energizing. And if you need grounding, you turn your palms down. It's just bowing your chin into the simplicity of this mudra, of this sit. You know, there's nothing simple here. Let your tongue be restful in your mouth, maybe the lower jaw separate. And just being in this space. As we began is the way we finish. And like life, we come into this world and we go out. And whatever happens in between is just the dance. But we can choose what music we play. You know, what makes our heart sing. And in this time of time, it is time for exploration, for reclamation, for reclaiming that which makes your heart sing. And that is how you share your greatest gifts. Now I'm gonna end with a drink too. So if you have a beverage handy, then just bring it in now. And if you don't, then that's fine too. You know, you can always just cup air in your hands. And I'm just going to hold this beverage for a few moments, just take in temperature. And then you bow down to it and you can open your eyes and look at it if you wish, or just be with your eyes closed knowing it's there. And feel that. And then as you hold this, you know, nourishment in front of your heart space, you can be specific of what you want to send into this, what you want to send into your body, or you can just send in love, your breath, your smiles, this acknowledgement that as the practice nourishes you, there's nourishment in the simplest of places. And then taking a drink as you're ready and holding that in, feeling it with your tongue, sides of your cheeks, and then feeling it as you swallow it down and where it goes in this entryway through the mouth into the body. And the savoring, the sensations, the sensations, the senses, and the feeling, the taste, maybe the smell, the touch, and the we can set that aside and we'll bring our hands together with great reverence for all you are as you bring your palms together. And we give gratitude for the practice itself. We give gratitude for this community, love and support. And we'll seal this with our may we be blessed mantra, inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and happy. And we'll seal this with one ohm and we'll actually ohm. Inhale. Oh. Chin. 
Om Shanti, Om Peace, Om Namaste. As you inhale, touch your index fingers to your third eye. And as you exhale, touch your thumbs to your heart. Oh. And keep your thumbs there. As you bring your middle fingers up to your lips, give them a kiss. Bring your hands back and lift your chin, open your eyes. And with great love and devotion, namaste, my friends. Thank you for being here, for your presence, for your energy. Mm, I just take it all in and I offer it out. Thank you so much, you guys. Today is Friday. You know, I'll be back on Sunday. Yes, I see you. I see you, beauties, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm going to romp a room now. I see Anne and Sarah and Robin and Rose. Welcome. And Sharon and Ian and Lindsay. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Sally, Grant and Deb, Carol and David and Deb and Ken. And thank you so much, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.